Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Heisy. I'm a working mom of a 22 month old named Alina. If you're tearing your hair out trying to find ways to keep your toddler occupied while you're cooking, you're watching the right video. It can be really challenging to mop wrap with toddlers underfoot and as a Montessori parent, yes I tried to involve my daughter in milk prepping at first but sometimes she just wants nothing with my attention. So today I'm sharing with you guys 5 super easy activities that will keep your little one occupied and busy for a long period of time right next to you on the kitchen bench so you can make dinner in peace. So let's get started. So the first activity is open and close containers. I have three containers and I put different objects inside the containers to make it more fun. I put some stickers, wooden balls and pom poms. This activity will help your toddler to develop fine motor skills, hand-eye coordination and concentration. You can be really creative with this activity. Have a good look around your home for interesting items. You can literally use anything that your toddler can open and close. Things like denture container, jewelry box and any kind of container, bottle or box with a somewhat complicated open and close will do. Do you guys see how Alina is so focused on trying to open this container? She's strengthening her finger muscles as a preparation for writing. This activity is so easy to put together, only takes half a minute to set up. It's so great for adding variation. This will keep your toddler's attention for a long time. The second activity I want to share with you guys is kitchen object matching activity. I love this matching activity because it's really easy and quick to set up. You don't need printables, cards or anything like that. Just grab whatever kitchen utensil your toddler is familiar with, I would say 5 to 10 items. Draw the shapes of each item with a marker pen on a large paper. I used a cardboard box in this video. This is a fun way to build vocabulary, concentration, as well as visual discrimination and cognitive development. The third activity is water transfer activity. For this setup, I just set out small cups with some water and put them in a shallow tray. I personally love to use a drop of food colorings just to make it more interesting and add some cotton balls. This activity is Alina's favorite activity. It holds her attention for a solid 15 to 20 minutes and sometimes longer whenever we do it. She transfers water using the cotton balls from cup to cup and from tray to cup. Once she's done enough of squeezing, then she practices pouring. Now your child had a great time with water transfer activity, but you might still need another 5 minutes to finish up cooking. Here you go, you can do more with the setup. First, you need a piece of paper and some masking tape and tape down the paper. I added a drop of food colouring again, but it's entirely up to you. And just let your child to do some painting with the wet cotton balls. I also gave her a cut box tray so she can do some stamping with it. You can give your child whatever veggie you're cooking with. Things like broccoli, romaine lettuce, mushrooms and whatnot, they make great vegetable stems. Once she's done with painting and stamping, I asked her to remove the masking tape, which is great for developing her fine motor skills, and this kept her entertained long enough while I got some cooking done. I just want to quickly tell you guys that I make videos about Montessori at home, play ideas for toddlers and Montessori inspired home makeover. So if that sounds like something you're interested in watching more of, make sure you subscribe to my channel and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. The final activity I'm sharing in this video is ice cube activity. Ice makes an amazing sensory play material. To set up this activity, you just need items small enough to freeze in the ice tray and freeze them. 
We use the fruits so Alina can snack on them when the ice melts. But you can also use small animal figurines, flowers or leaves and etc. Then I also gave her a glass with some warm water so she can watch the ice cubes melt slowly in the glass. And another fun way of playing with ice cube is freezing food colored water in the ice cube trays in fun designs. We had heart shaped and fish shaped ones. As the ice melted, Alina noticed the water turning into a different color and she enjoyed the blending and mixing of red and blue which turned into purple at the end. And then I gave her an ice cream scoop so Alina instantly sorted out colors and transferred ice cubes into the glasses and this went on for ages. So this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, it would really mean a lot to me if you hit the subscribe button and like button as it helps my channel to grow. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!